सुधाकर बरबड़े असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इवेंट काउंटिंग यूजिंग आई सी सेवन फोर सी नाइन टू सिक्स लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब इवेंट काउंटिंग यूजिंग आई सी सेवन फोर सी नाइन टू सिक्स कंटेंट्स वी विल स्टडी इवेंट काउंटिंग बाय इट्स ब्लॉक डायरेम फर्स्ट देन वी विल स्टडी एंड डिजाइन इनपुट इंटरफेस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑल द मेजरमेंट्स वॉट्स ओवर वी हैव डन डायरेम ऑफ इवेंट काउंटिंग here as usual we have 74c926 and its associated display circuit connected as shown and here we require the clock input to be given to the ic74c926 and reset to be given when counting is over and this display select is connected to ground so that we can display the data here the events are converted into electrical signal and these this electrical signal is given to event processing circuit which converts the input electrical signal into the appropriate digital signal which is required to be given to the and gate input and another input coming from the external trigger input through this control signal generation circuitry block so whenever we want to start event counting a external trigger is to be given this trigger generates the logic one voltage on this and the whatever the event signal are passed to the clock input of the 74c926 and it starts counting whenever counting is over we can give another external trigger so that this output becomes zero uh, events are now blocked at this and gate and whenever we want to start a new counting process this reset signal we can generate by using this control signal circuit so this is what a block diagram of event counting now let us see the input interface present in all of the IC74C related circuits here this is what the block diagram of input interface circuit which consist of uh, amplifier and schmidt trigger amplifier amplifies the input sinusoidal signal or analog signal we can say which is a very weak one so we obtain a amplified signal here and that amplified signal is given to the schmidt trigger which then generates the pure uh, digital output which can be given to the input of the measurement as we see here it consists of mainly amplifier and schmidt trigger so here the circuit is built using op amp and here op amp is used as an amplifier if you look at the input signal which is a analog one is passed through this uh, potentiometer we can adjust this input voltage required for calibration and this is passed to the capacitor which blocks any dc components present in the signal to be given to the op amp input so only ac signal will be passed and this will be given to the op amp non inverting input terminal whereas inverting input terminal is connected through these resistors 
and the gain can be adjusted by using this feedback register and this uh, input register. So this is what uh, amplification of uh, any analog input. Then amplified analog input is given to the Schmidt trigger input. This is what uh, op amp used as a Schmidt trigger. Here we give the input voltage to the inverting input of the op amp and non-inverting input is connected to uh, input reference voltage that is through R2 and R1 and this is a feedback register and we get the output. So we will see later on the details of this Schmidt trigger. Let us see the analysis of the previous circuit. In this analysis we are assuming this R1, R2, R3 of 10k value, this R1, R2, R3 of 10k value and V reference, is, uh, v reference is equal to 5 volt. When this is the case, now let us assume that now the op amp output is 5 volt. Now when V0 is equal to 5 volt, then what will happen is, just you look at, when V0 is equal to 5 volt, what will happen? V reference is also 5 volt, V0 is also 5 volt, that means this point and this point are tied together and means this R2 and R3 come in parallel with each other and R1 resistance is connected through ground, that means whatever the potential across this we are finding, this is a point A, that potential at, at that point we are finding. So potential at point A, that is for example this, the equivalent circuit is here drawn, V reference is connected to 5 volt already we have assumed and V0 is 5 volt our first assumption that means R2 and R3 come in parallel and uh, this R1 is connected to ground so this is point A. So voltage at this point VA will be equal to since this is a common terminal and there we have 5 volt. So V reference divided by total resistance. Total resistance is a R1 plus parallel combination of R2 and R3. That's why V reference divided by R1 plus R2 in parallel with R3 into resistance R1. That's why multiplied by R1. So if you put these values R1, R2, R3 is equal to 10K, we get VA is equal to 3.33 volt. So this is named as uh, VTH, higher trigger point. Okay. And when V0 is equal to 0, for example, we have assume that this V0 is 0, that means uh, this terminal connected to ground, that means R1 and R3 appear in parallel and this point is this connected through R2 to V reference. So equivalent circuit will look like this R1 and R3 will come in parallel. This is a ground, V0 is also ground that means these two points are as good as connected together and this uh, point A is connected to V reference through R2. So uh, voltage at point A is found VA equal to R2 plus parallel combination of these two. So uh, R2 plus parallel combination of R1 and R3 and the reference voltage is V5 volt as we know. So V reference divided by this uh, total effective resistance multiplied by the resistance across uh, at point A. So resistance at point A will be R1 in parallel with R3. So multiplied by R1 in parallel with R3. So this, with this we get VA is equal to 1.66 volt which is known as VTL, lower trigger point. So this way we get different voltages at point A 
when the op-amp is at positive saturation or at ground. What type of output we get in the above circuit? So the answer should be in terms of whether the output is in phase or inverted. You pause the video and answer the question. See, the question was, what type of output we get for the circuit given? This is what the circuit given to us. And this, for example, this is what the analog input and this is what the output. So if you look at here, when the input signal is going positive, input signal is going positive and when it reaches this higher trigger point, the output is going to logic 0. And when this signal is coming down and when it reaches lower trigger point, at that point the output is becoming high. That means what we are getting here is inverted output. Okay. Now let us see how we can understand the Schmitt trigger using this uh, diagram. On, on x axis we have v in and on y axis we have v0. So if you look at when the input voltage is going in the positive direction and we, we assume at that time the output is logic high, this output is logic high or 5 volt we can say. So here if it is a 5 volt here, this terminal already we have seen, this is a 3.33 volt. Potential at point A at this point is 3.33 volt. So, as the input increases and it approaches this VTH known as higher trigger point that is 3.33 volt, the of the Schmitt trigger changes to the other state called 0 and it remains 0. See, look at here. When the output was high, when uh, VTH reaches, when the input voltage reaches to VTH, the transition takes place in the output. Output becomes 0 and it remains 0 till the input voltage drops below this uh, V. TL that is lower trigger point. So if you look at this output remain, the output will remain 0 till this input reaches to v, VTL. So whenever input reaches VTL, again the output of the op amp changes its states from low to high and this process continues. References. Electronic system design by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electrotech publication Satara. And one more website I have taken for preparing these slides that is given here. Thank you very much.